shot and the goal. Wallace gets our first goal today. Hey, the run here coming. Shot and the goal. Down low, it stirs in. Stirs in on the feed from Vackner, and it's 2 0. It's Patrick, the shot and the goal, and it's 2 to 1. Can the Tigers save it? They cannot. Here's a fast break opportunity in front and the goal. The assist going to Jay Cotton with the goal. That is Greg Drillick. And it is now a 2-2 game. Stirs and running around trying to force the issue. Bombers sending it up and a goal from way, way out. Give and go. Down low, shot and a goal. Again, Greg, as you mentioned, the two-man game so big, and for the Tigers, that is Alex Zaleski with the goal number 31. Takes it behind the cage. He's guarded by Harris. And a scavenge fires and scores. John Janiscavich from Orchard Park gives Ithaca a 6-3 lead. Good defensive play there. Knocked down there by Eli Solomon. And the shot and the goal, and the Tigers have cut it. 26. Ricci winning Lobosco. the draw. Tigers in transition. Levick shoots and scores. We'll catch that on the fly. Pressing down low to Levick. Again, Hasek to Levick. And that RIT sideline pumped up right now. And the Tigers have got it to one. To Saya sending it up top. To Saya with the assist to who else? Number 45, Ryan Lee with the goal. Long possession here for the Tigers as Seleski will hand it off. Here's Wallace. Fires and scores! Changing that eye level. Braden Wallace getting his second of this game, and it's back to now a two goal mark. Ricci has it knocked away. Here's Hasek. Fires and scores. Jake Kuhn call timeout? No, they'll let the play keep running here. Tigers not thinking just one as Hasek has it stripped, but it trickles through! That is what you call a greasy goal. <laughs> now it's 12 to 10. Same scored by number 42. And that's going to be Matt moved up Hasek. by the Bombers in transition. Right side, shot and a goal. Shumway is having a Trevor day Smith. here for the Bombers. That is his fifth. Clear, but they want more than just that. It's a shot and the goal. That's number seven, Stephen Morrell, the sophomore from Palmyra. And it's a four-goal bomber lead. Well, that'd be the crack. That would be the case. I mean, it stirs in as well. And the feed in front, and there is Lee. Lee on the field, the feed from Seleski. And it's gonna go over to the bombers. Now here they are in transition. Cotton fires and scores. Tigers not back defensively, not ready for that. That is Jake Cotton. Wallace. Last Wallace to play in the corner, bending it off. Minute. Great individual effort. His third goal today. Braden Wallace showing some strength for RIT. We're on to Cincinnati. In this case, Vassar. There's a shot and a goal. That's Kyle Sturzen with a good grip and rip. It's now a two goal game. And a Savage sending back up to Cotton and the Tigers defensively over quick. Morrell fires and scores. Savage. Back, the quick shot and a goal. That's number 24, Kalen Fitzpatrick. And this matches the biggest lead of the day for the Bombers. It's 17 13. Sends it back up top. The shot, save the rebound, put back up and in. That's Lee with the goal for RIT. Tigers taking some chances on the double team and the feed down low in. That's Shumway's six today on the feed from Michael Walker. And here go the Tigers quickly to work. The feed down low, shot and a goal. Chad Levick, the beneficiary, 221 remaining. Seleski handing it back to Sturzen. Sturzen, double pick there. Sending over to Levick. Levick fires and scores. For the first time since March of 2013, the Tigers have lost a regular season game. How much does this mean? Look at the Bombers storm the field. This for a non-conference game, and Ithaca showing 
they are for real. They are contenders. Their 11th straight win, again, for the RIT Tigers. Falling here today in front of their home fans. The winning streak is over. It ends at 52 consecutive regular season wins. The Tigers fall 12 and 1 on this season. Thank <laughs> you.